This is Thai beef noodle soup in an Instapot. Wow. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. The beef is braised. The signature beef meatballs. Oh my goodness. Ooh. The meat just falls off this bone, guys. Dude, the Instapot is a life. Changer. I didn't even have to thaw my meat or anything. Take it out the food saver, throw it in here, frozen, and I get to eat anything. Hey, what's up, guys? Let's make Thai beef noodle soup. We're gonna make it in the Instapot today. I'll list all the measurements and ingredients in the comment section. You're gonna need some rock sugar. You can find this at the Asian supermarket. Your spice, thin soy sauce, beef paste, seasoning soy sauce, dark soy sauce, fish sauce, and chicken bouillon. Next, you're going to need cilantro stem or root if you can get a hold of any, as well as two to three thinly sliced galango. Next, you're going to need some beef paste. The star of the show is the meatball, and as well as your choice of beef. Place the meat into the pot, fill the water up to the max line, and pressure cook for an hour and 30 minutes. If your meat is not frozen, you can pressure cook for 45 minutes. And we're done. Serve this with your favorite greens. I'm doing gailan today and some blanched bean sprouts. I like to dress mine with some fried garlic, some fried shallots, chili oil, chili powder, and all that spicy stuff. This is Thai beef noodle soup. The noodles are so chewy and bouncy, the rice noodles. Mmm. This is so good. Wow, look at this. Look at the pepper. It's just hanging onto the noodle. Look at this braised beef right here and the instant pot just falls off oh my goodness look i could just pull it like this and it just falls take a bite and drink the broth it's so red Woo! spicy but i love it i put so much pepper i don't know if you guys see that but look at that all the peppers are just hanging on to each strand of the noodles. And for me, everybody always look at my bowl crazy. Like, oh my god, why do you eat like that? I know, I like to eat spicy. I'm cuckoo, loco, chinito loco. Woo! You guys know I like to eat spicy. I have to eat spicy. Woo! I like eating so spicy of this, guys. Ooh, look how red this is. <sighs> look at the beef meatball. Classic. Look at that. In the instant pot, it just falls off his bone. Look at this. Wow. Beef cross rib and short ribs. You can use any kind of cut of meat you want. Beef roast. Mmm. It always tastes good the next day. It's full of flavor. I have fish sauce in there, thin soy sauce. Thick soy sauce, chicken bouillon, the cilantro stems. You can, you want it to taste better, get cilantro root if you can. It has a seasoning soy sauce, dark soy sauce, light soy sauce, rock sugar, and the five spice. The star anise, cinnamon sticks, cardamom, fennel, a little bit of everything. Each of this noodle strand has so much spice in it. Look at that. Chili oil is so garlicky. This broth is so umami. It's savory. Oh my goodness, it's like a collision of flavor. You can have this with any kind of greens. It's so good. It has cilantro, green onion. Mmm. Oh my god. So good. Oh, it's getting spicy. Mmm. It's so flavorful. So tender. And you know, the cross rib at the end, it has like cartilage or like the fat too. This just screams family meal. When I make this, it's just, I just picture like events and hanging out with family, everybody grabbing a bowl and talking about how they season it. That's what I did growing up. And as an adult, people will always like look at each other's bowl and see how they dress it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, you know how red that is. Wow, look at that. Hey guys, I can't do it no more. 
getting too spicy. Want to learn how to make this? I'll list all the measurements in the description. And then do whatever. Use what you have at home to make it. But this is the Thai beef noodle. It's so good. You, you always can go. If you're curious, you never had it because of the seasoning. That goes into it. Go try it at the Thai restaurant. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.